then v key, VK and VK stands for virtual code virtual key code I think something like that and one now we use and one to say I believe this is uh, to say that it's being held down so we're saying um, if VK this is another way of not using a timer so if you get a sync key state VK up and one then uh, we check first thing we do is we check if the menu uh, so now the player wants to go up on the menu now we check if menu index menu index is greater than zero so only let the move up if the menu index is greater than zero um, menu index menu index and you can do quite a few cool things here minus minus so if he's not on the first element of the menu then we let him go up by one so you'll see this in action soon I hope that makes sense to you and uh, let's just copy this because it's um, very similar here it's uh, the exact opposite actually so it's we do the same for our up key now you can add later on uh, menu items to going to your right and left but that's fully up to you of course <laughs> can't write down what a fail uh, it's probably because I'm down um, so down in one and then instead of minus minus we, we increment so if it's less than max menu items minus one okay max menu items minus one okay so let me just check that so obviously we're saying um, allow it to go um, down as long as it hasn't lit the, hit the limit of max menu items and then we're saying if get a sync key state what key are we checking now get key, a sync key state yeah end end is what we use for our um, it's usually any keys usually so we can go up down we can you can even choose X so if you prefer any key like uh, X that work that doesn't work uh, I'm sure there's some if you google virtual key codes online you'll find uh, Microsoft's thingy with all the codes so he's saying hack um, menu index where is that oh, crap I screwed that up hack menu index dot state it's not state it's on equals uh, and copy this so we're saying here, we're saying it equals the opposite of what it was. So if it was on, we turn it off. If it was off, it would turn it on. So that's just so we don't have an if statement saying if this happens, do this, and if that happens, do that. And that's it, pretty much. That is pretty much it. And we just got to do one last thing for our insert. So we say if get a sync, if get a sync, okay, insert. So if the user presses insert, then we um, we hide the menu. So we say hack, hide menu, dot on, equals, just like we've done just now, the opposite of what it is. So, um, so you press insert, either hide or show the menu, whichever it previously was and. So if it was on, we, same same as I just explained. So if, if it was hidden, we display it. If it was this playing we hide it and that's it pretty much um, uh, I believe we are finished let me just pull an F6 uh, see if it works now let's go on to our uh, def this one here um, I don't know if I don't remember if we, um, we need C time or not but either way we just leave it as you can see here all the functions created by um, by Azorvix um, some of these are created by me so uh, I created this here now I'm going to explain these because I, I should have deleted them and we should have written them from scratch but because I, we've already got them I'm just going to explain them to you so you've got static ball run once and what this does is uh, this I should have created this as a global but it doesn't matter um, what we're saying here is only initialize the menu items once so it doesn't run on every begin scene now this is like um, an event so it will happen at the beginning of every scene uh, we decide what to declare and what not so we just simply initialize the menu items nothing to it so if we move down um, to here all these things written by him which is great um, here the, the simple stuff we need for our menu is simply um, keyboard input and draw menu here so this will draw a menu and this will receive any input that we decide to uh, put in the meantime uh, it will just loop and um, just check that and the next one is there anything else that I did that I like to explain 
I believe that is it. Yeah, I believe that's it. I mean, most of this beautiful stuff is done by Zorvix. Here, if stream, uh, stream number, some games will ex accept strides. So keep that there. Don't get rid of that. Some games will accept. Um, you can use strides to uh, use that to turn our cams on and stuff. But I'll explain that on the wall hack one, which I'm going to be doing next. Um, and uh, I don't want to mix that up with this one because uh, I'll be sending people here. Excuse me to do this stuff just. Um, um, in order to move on to the other hacks, um, I believe this is it. Um, begin scene, end scene. I've explained everything. Yeah, so this is pretty much it. We've completed it. Now we're going to check. Oops, I scrolled there. We're going to check if this works. So, what I recommend you do is pull an F6 um, and see if this works. Now, odds are, as we made a mistake or two in the logic. Now, you should have this file within your uh, thingy. So, run this. JX inject, which is great. Um, it's a simple DR injector and stuff made by Jigu, all that good stuff. Um, I've got a few of my videos here, I don't care about these uh, vids. Uh, get rid of that. So let's just go onto my documents here Visual Studio 2010. So I'm now going to look for my project folder. So you guys should do the same. Hacking Projects YT template. And now, if you go on your first debug folder, you should have this file here. All right, and this is the file. So if you're not sure you've got the wrong right project, so delete these, delete your DLL here, press F5 to get rid of it, and then run this again. So YT, pre press F6, and it should have been recreated. There it is. So now we know that that is our DLL that we want to use. So I'm going to go add DLL, and I'm going to put this folder here. And yt directory template dll and that's the one. Now, once we run the game, um, if you got um, Modern Warfare, uh, the multiplayer version, of course, uh, you do you do this. Um, now, any direct ga X game should work with this. I can do this on pretty much anything. So let's try it. Um, crap, forgot to take that. Don't know if I screwed that up now because of that. And we've got a menu that is incredibly wrong. So. I uh, don't know if th it's the game that's glitching or whatever. No, I believe I made some mistake. Uh, <laughs> well, a few of them by the looks of it. It's probably in the formula. So let's ju just going to try and inject this again because um, that, no, that won't inject because I need to restart it. Uh, let me just do that again. Apologies for that. Add the DLL, all that good stuff. Uh, automatic injection, calls after injection. So I'm just going to rerun this. Uh, and there you go. So th that's not right, of course. So let's just go back into our thingy and uh, check what we did. So odds are we made a small mistake. Hopefully nothing too big. Um, it looks really screwed up, but um, I doubt it's anything too special. So let's go to our draw menu function, and that's probably where the mistake is. Okay then. So I went mistake hunting, and I found three mistakes. Very simple mistakes. Very small typos. So we're gonna fix fix them quickly and see if the thing is working well. So first mistake I found was here. So as you can see here I um and you guys probably have the same. I had this. So X minus twenty and I forgot to put the I had that and I forgot to add the Y here. So it should have been comma Y and because the rectangle won't give me an error there's no way I would have found that out. So I had to go checking. So X minus hundred and twenty should be X minus hundred and twenty comma Y comma X plus twenty. Uh, 120 sorry and then y plus 15 so replace that please if you don't mind pause it if you like so you can have a better look at it and the next mistake was here so I had y plus 50 I'm sure some of you guys fixed this as you were doing it but in case you didn't uh, it should have been y plus uh, 50 my bad there as usual um, so just gonna get rid of these actually as I do fix them hopefully you, you're fixing them with me <laughs> if you if you come this far then you're fixing them with me it's pretty guaranteed and the next mistake was um, I had Y by itself here, I should have incre put the height added to the Y. Okay, so make sure you do the same there. That's all it is. So those three simple mistakes uh, were making us have a bit of a buggy thing. So press F6 if you've got um, 2010. If you've got 2008, it should be F7, I think, uh, to run it. Well, not to run it, to build it. And then run this again. All right, so um, I'm going to call here. Just going to have a drink. We're gonna add our DLL. No, I don't, I'm not a big fan of this uh, injector because uh, you have to redo everything at once. I had a previous one which was really good, and I I think I deleted it by accident. I don't know where I put it. I've got to look for it again. But basically, just make sure you got automatic injection and close after injection because that's the thing to do. So IW3MP. If you got a different game, check your task manager for the name of the game, and 
I'm going to run this and I'm going to see if it works. And there you go, beautiful, look at that. So that's our menu done. So uh, let's just check out, pressing um, pressing up and down and stuff. So as you can see, it works just fine. Uh, let's press end, turn things on and off. So there you go, it works just fine. Look, pressing end key, turning things off, turns off, turns on again, just fine. Game name goes there. And this is pretty much our direct 3D template finished, guys. Um, this we can use for almost, uh, well, pretty much any game. So I want to just try another another game just to show you it works. Uh, what would you like? Hey, Halo C seems good. Um, we could try Left 4 Dead. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Left 4 Dead is pretty high in um, CPU, so I don't want to freeze this or anything. So let's go for Halo C. I think it's called ha just Halo C like that. Um, yeah, so that seems good. And then we're going to add the DLL, close after injection. Let's try this. Pretty old school game. There you go. Injected successfully. Let's see if it works all right. Um, there you go. Look at that. It works just fine in any game pretty much. Hide it. Show it. Just make sure if this is not running in your game, uh, it's because it doesn't support DirectX. And if your game doesn't support DirectX, you probably shouldn't have come this far in the tutorial. Uh, but if you've done what I've done, then uh, we are complete. So this is what I'm going to tell you to use once we do our wall hacks tutorial. I should have the wall hacks. I don't know if I'm going to do it today because it's a very simple and straightforward tutorial. I might do it today. If not, I'll do it in a couple of days. Um, so this is pr pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, there was the uh, the menu in action. Um, and this is the menu you probably should use for your future hacks and stuff. So put your memory hacks and stuff, um, things that we've done previously on uh, memory hacking tutorials and things like that. Um, I hope you enjoy this and uh, have a good get a good day. See ya.